Okay, so let's say what's up. Oh, I have this big history paper due, and it's just taking so long. I really, really want to do well on it. Well, I mean, what are you having a problem with? Like finding research materials, a book? What's going on, going on? To be honest with you, you know, I just wish that I could be more efficient. For example, as part of this project, we have to do peer editing. So it would be nice if I could share my document with somebody, have them provide me feedback without having to meet face to face because I just don't have the time. Also, too, citing sources, it takes forever. Forever. And wouldn't it be nice if I could insert content and cite sources a whole lot faster? Not to mention the fact that after school today, I need to be at the ice rink for some skating practice, and I don't have internet access there, but in between my sessions, I'd like to be able to work on my document. Oh, man. Well, turn that frown upside down because there are so many strategies that I can share with you on how to make Google Drive more efficient like going offline with your Google Drive, um, sharing documents with friends and with teachers, and even just making simple comments on your doc. And here's how. You can access Drive offline by going to Google Drive as you normally do. If you are not connected to Wi-Fi, an offline notification will appear. You can edit your document and make changes. When you reconnect to the internet, your changes will automatically sync. To share a document, first open the document in Drive. Click on the Share button in the top right corner. Under People in the Sharing box, type the email addresses of the people or Google Groups you want to share with. You can also search for contacts by typing them into the box. Choose the type of access you want to give the users by clicking on the drop-down area to the right of the text box, such as can edit, can comment, or can view. Click send once you are done. The users will receive an email letting them know that you've shared the file or folder with them. For this example, we've given comment only access for peer editing. For peer editing or providing feedback, the comments feature can be used to ask questions, make notes, or highlight changes you've made. You can then edit or delete your comments, as well as reply to comments made by others, and close comment threads when you're finished with them. To add a comment, highlight the information you'd like to comment on, then click Insert, Comment. Type your comment in the box that appears to the right of the file. To make sure that a specific person sees a note meant for them, you can address a comment to a specific user so that they receive an email notification about your comment. Somewhere in your comment, add a plus, followed by the email address of the person you want to see the message. Then click Comment. If someone else has commented on your document, you can reply to the comment by clicking the Reply button. Enter your comment. and then click Reply. When a discussion is finished, you can close a comment by clicking Resolve. Note that all comments, even resolved ones, can be viewed in the Comments button at the top. Dude, why so many tabs? Because I'm doing research. I have my original document open, and then I have all the tabs for each one of my different sites. And I keep going back and forth between the tabs so that I can easily See my research and cite it properly. Oh my gosh, well you can do all of your research right inside of your Google Doc or your presentation. Here, this is how you do it. To open the research tool, go to the tools menu and select research. The research tool will appear along the right hand side. When you first open the research tool, it may show you topics related to what it thinks you're working on based on the contents of your document or presentation. You can research those topics by clicking on them, or you can type in your own search terms in the search bar. Start a search by typing into the search bar. You can narrow your search to specific types of results, such as images, quotations, or videos, by using the drop-down menu in the search bar. You can even cite the information directly into your document as a footnote by clicking the Cite button over a specific resource.
Hey, do you know what that add-ons button is at the top? I just noticed it last year. I don't know. I have no idea. I kind of thought you would know. Mm, I don't, but maybe we should just try to Google it and see if we can figure it out. Oh, awesome idea. So what, we're just looking for add-ons in Google? You got it. Oh, sweet. So it kind of looks like it adds more functionality to your Google Drive or to your Drive and documents and even spreadsheets. That's what it sounds like. Maybe things like citing sources, maybe it would help us cite sources easier. Oh, that'd be awesome. Like maybe with EasyBib or something like that. I don't know. Let's look in add-ons and let's see what's available. Sweet. To add more functionality to your documents and spreadsheets, you can install add-ons, which are tools built by third-party developers for Google Docs and Google Sheets. To install add-ons, click the add-ons menu, and then click Get Add-ons. You can browse the entire add-on store or a particular category using the drop-down menu in the top left corner. You can also search for a specific add-on, such as EasyBib, by typing it into the search. Hover over the add-on to see a short description or to quickly install it. Click the free button to install the add-on. For most add-ons, a message will appear requesting access to specific data that the add-on needs to work. Read this message carefully and click accept. Once the add-on is installed, it will be listed in the add-ons menu within all of your files of that file type. You can turn on the add-on in any of these files and other people working on the file will be able to see and use the add-on as well. Wow, who knew that Drive had all of these cool features that could help me be more efficient as I work on my assignments in Drive? Now you're ready to go full speed ahead in Google Drive. Ugh, so, so corny. <laughs> Anyways, now you can begin exploring all of the cool features in Drive to make you more efficient and improve your experience. Start by trying out the comments feature and the research tool. Then explore the add-ons and add a few that you think will help you as you work on assignments in Drive. And as always, feel free to stop down and see Ms. O'Neill or Ms. Olson for any help. Sayonara!